Judea and Samaria are strategically located near water sources, and so poor treatment of sewage in the area can affect Israel's water assets. A press conference was held today to spread awareness of the problem. Yonin Kempinski was there. The Environmental Unit of the Nature and Parks Authority, the Water and Streams Division, and the Judean Samaria District of the Ministry of Environmental Protection presented their annual report of Judean Samaria Streams Monitoring. The report was based upon the data that had been collected in the streams during the year 2007. According to the research, wastewaters produced by 2 out of 2.8 million people living in the area are not treated due to political conflicts and funding limitations. All the water is going into the ground and actually uh, get into the water resources of Israel. The longest sewage flows were found in the Hebron, Kidron, Shechem and Modim streams. The sewage flows are a potential cause for contamination of the groundwater in the Arkon Taninim aquifer, which is a major source of drinking water. We are calling the Palestinian and the Israeli side to build and to connect the settlements to uh, sewage uh, plants who should reduce the pollution, the contamination uh, in the streams and in the groundwater and it's necessary now uh, otherwise the pollution uh, will, will affect actually the, the water quality uh, in the groundwater. Sewage from the Arab sources is estimated to be 56 million cubic meters per year. 94% of the Arab sewage is disposed of in cesspits or discharged without treatment into the streams, while sewage from the Jewish communities is estimated to be 17.5 million cubic meters per year and 31.5% of their sewage is disposed without treatment into the streams. 70% of the Jewish villages are treated and they have the necessary facilities. 30% are not. These communities, their leaders, are being taken care of disciplinarily by the authorities in order to bring them into the framework of payment by residents of a sewage tax. I believe that this way, the problem will eventually be solved. The authors of the report explained that it was prepared for the first time in order to supply a full and credible indication of the environmental hazards and the effectiveness of the treatment given to each one. As part of the treatment, the State of Israel approved investments in different projects of over 100 million shekels in the past year. Actually during the last uh, 30 years um, um, the enforcement was very low and now the Ministry of Environment tried to, to prevent uh, these um, actions. With the completion of the report, authorities began forming a work plan and decided on further steps to be taken in the future. What could be done? Can be done is uh, rebuilt and uh, upgrade the water treatment plants in the the area, and actually stop the and preventing the pollution to get into the rivers and flowing all down the rivers and to the ground.